Scott, um, you also reported recently about Speaker McCarthy sharing extensive January 6th footage with Fox News host, opinionated host, Tucker Carlson. I know there's increased fallout from that. What can you tell us? Yeah, a series of new reports for you here, Errol. Let's start with the video. Kevin McCarthy is explaining this sharing of some of this 41,000 hours of Capitol Police video with Fox News by saying it is likely to be, if not necessarily going to be, widely shared after Fox reviews whatever segments it wants to review. We spoke with a senior member of the House Administration Committee, which has oversight over Capitol Police, and he told me that the Fox News crew was prohibited from recording the images or taking anything from the screening room, but can communicate what parts or what clips of the video it would like. Those clips would be screened by House Republican leaders or House committee officials. Then it would be released to Fox News and ultimately wider, not just to the public, but potentially to some January 6th defense attorneys. Senate Democrats and House Democrats continued their criticism of this release or this sharing of video by Kevin McCarthy here today, saying it is a misprioritization. It's also somewhat hypocritical for a party that says it wants to put January 6th behind them. That's one piece of reporting. We also have some new reporting here on CBS News that a senior staffer for House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and the chairman of the U.S. House Oversight Committee, Republican James Comer of Kentucky, each separately briefly met with the mother of Ashley Babbitt, who has been here in Washington for weeks, if not months, advocating for January 6th defendants. She has char characterized some of those defendants as political prisoners. She is part of a nightly protest outside the Washington, D.C. jail, where there have been dozens of January 6th defendants held in pretrial detention. Now Babbitt's mother has had at least some face time with a top aide to Kevin McCarthy and with the chairman of the House Oversight Committee. We have confirmation from Speaker McCarthy's office this happened, and we have confirmation from Chairman Comer's office this happened. But our other CBS News reporting, Errol and Lana, is that other January 6 families and even one defendant herself have taken meetings recently with House Republicans, including Byron Donalds of Florida, who confirms this happened. I'll note this. As this group makes inroads here in Congress with a new House Republican majority and gets these meetings, the January 6th defendant who met recently with Congressman Donalds has a stay away order from the Capitol grounds. Uh, all right. You can't even make these things up. Scott McFarlane on Capitol Hill. Thank you for your excellent reporting.